Amanda with Street Smile Solutions and today we're going to be talking about some cases. This is just a case I wanted to show you. It's not a full case, you know, it's just a patient. We're going to talk about her facial features. We're going to talk about what we see with her teeth. Sometimes we don't always see the whole picture. So I just want to tell you my thoughts and maybe how you should be thinking if this is a patient that you see in your waiting room and maybe what the options are for this patient and what how you should proceed, next steps. So I know there's a big, a lot of, a lot of pressure from parents to wait wait on their orthodontics, not to get started now. So, but you need to push against the pressure and inform the parent the risks, benefits, and alternatives for every step that you might do. So let's take, for example, this child here, clearly has overjet, clearly has overbite, right? Most likely her overjet is a result of a deficient mandible. What else is this telling me? Well, first of all, with those teeth so protrusive, she's at significant risk for trauma for those teeth, whether she's riding her bike, doing sports, doing gymnastics. Um, there's a high odds she's going to fracture or knocking out those teeth. So we need to get those teeth pulled back. Okay? But we don't only, only want to pull back the teeth because now what you're doing is, yes, you're basically fixing the problem by going at it the wrong direction, not the direction that nature intended you to do. We need to look into the size of our jaws, take a supplementary x-ray, digitize it, get our numbers, check the airway, and most likely we need to encourage that lower jaw to grow. She's probably only about seven, eight, nine right now. So that was totally still possible to do this comfortably without any mouse traps or any things that they even need to wear at school. There's so many options out there on the market. So I want you now that you've seen what you can't unsee, I want you to go into your waiting room and from now on, I want you to start screening all the little kids in your practice. I don't care if they're two, three, four. There's so many things that you can screen them for. You can put them on watch. You can put them on recall. Um, these are easy appliances or easy systems that even a general or a pediatric dentist can do. So that's pretty much what I got to say. Go ahead and connect with me. Be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. There's tons of content in there that you can learn about. But And also go to straightsmilesolutions.com. And connect, connect with us on some of our Facebook forums. We have patient-facing forums. We have doctor-facing forums. You can connect with other patients and other doctors um, who are going through some of the same things that you are and have some of the similar questions. All right, straight smile, 